Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to go over why Daigo's hitbox was banned at Combo Breaker. Let's get started. Now, just a little bit of backstory here in case you're not fully aware of the situation. Combo Breaker is a fighting game tournament. It hosts multiple games, most notably Mortal Kombat 11, Tekken 7, and Street Fighter 5. This is one of many fighting game tournaments throughout the year, and people come from all over the globe to compete. Now anyone can sign up and compete in these tournaments, including professionally sponsored players. So you can just sign up, bring your own controller and compete. Controllers are not provided for you, so you do have to show up with a controller of your own. Now when people bring their own controllers to these tournaments, what they bring varies by competitor and their preference. For example, there are some people who use the DualShock 4. There are some people who use a fight stick or arcade stick. And there are some people who use hitboxes. Now for the latter, the arcade sticks and for the hitboxes, people do also build their own and bring them. And those are also usually tournament legal. And I say usually, because it depends on the hardware used inside. And as long as the chipsets inside, so the chips that they use in these custom arcade sticks and hitboxes is approved, then they're okay to use them in tournaments. Now, Daigo Umehara, probably one of the most notable fighting game, well, Street Fighter players in the history of Street Fighter, at least one of the most popular ones, brought his own version of the hitbox, you can see this monstrosity here, to the tournament with approved internals. So the chip that he was using on the inside was also used on other fight sticks and hitboxes and approved. However, his, for some reason, was banned. And people are speculating left and right as to why it was banned. And we don't have a definitive answer, but I've got enough information that I can tell you why it was banned. Now, aside from being completely hideous and uh, an eyesore to look at here, uh, there's some very interesting things going on with this hitbox. So if we flip over here to the actual layout of his hitbox, let's take a quick look. All right. So if we look at here, this is left, down, right, and up. Those are standard hitbox controls. Having punches up here and kicks down here or whatever layout you want, for example, light, medium, heavy punch, using this button here for three punches, uh, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, and using this button here for three kicks, that's fine. However you wanna lay out these buttons is fine. Here's where Daigo's hitbox differs from the standard hitbox. And that is these two buttons here, which give additional uh, input directions. So you can have an additional right, an additional left, as well as an additional punch button and an additional kick button. And if you compare this to a standard hitbox, you can see those extra directional buttons and the two extra, I guess, punch and kick buttons are missing. Now there are arguments out there that the standard hitbox is cheating because you can hold left and right at the same time, which you're unable to do on an arcade stick. And this just adds to the confusion by adding additional directions. However, on the hitbox, there is something called SOCD cleaning, and that stands for simultaneous opposite cardinal direction cleaning which means in a nutshell, if you hold left and right together, it's gonna be nothing. They're gonna cancel each other out. If you hold up and down at the same time, it's gonna default to up. So SOCD cleaning basically eliminates the cheating factor that a lot of people say Hitbox has. Now, a lot of games also have built in SOCD cleaning in some way, shape or form. There are some games that don't. For example, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, if you're using a hitbox that has SOCD cleaning, there's nothing to worry about. If you're using something that does not have SOCD cleaning, you can hold left and right at the same time and essentially block both sides simultaneously. So essentially with SOCD cleaning, which the board inside Daigo's fight stick or hitbox has, this would make holding multiple directions basically a non-issue. However, 
the SOCD cleaning where you hold left and right and it cancels to neutral or down and up and it defaults to up does not apply with the setting that Daigo has in this hitbox. So the difference with Daigo's SOCD cleaning is the fact that he uses the last win version of it. Now it is SOCD cleaning, however, last win means if you were to hit left and then right, on a standard hitbox, it would be neutral. If you were to hit left then right with the last win method, the right button comes out. Now if you were to hit right then left, the left button comes out. Now with this exact setup that Daigo has, some people say it offers him a competitive advantage by using this stick. There are multiple inputs for the same direction, and for Guile players, for example, you could hold back, which is charge, tap the right button or forward, and then let go of forward, and immediately start charging again. So it, it really reduces the time required to do certain actions. So the version of SOCD cleaning, the last win version, paired with the multiple directional inputs that Daigo has available to him in this custom hitbox is what got the hitbox banned. This is a very recent type of hitbox and not a lot of study, I would say, has been done on it by tournament organizers and by Capcom. So they don't really know if this type of hitbox with multiple inputs for direction along with the type of SOCD cleaning last win is overpowered compared to a standard arcade stick or hitbox. The controversy arises when comparing it with a DualShock 4. So a DualShock 4 is the standard PlayStation 4 controller used with the PlayStation 4, which is used for most of the fighting games in the tournament. Now, looking at this controller, you can also see multiple directional inputs. So players can use the D-pad in addition with the analog stick to make matters even more interesting. With these DualShock 4s, for example, they use the last win method of SOCD cleaning, the exact same method in Daigo's custom hitbox. So here's the DualShock 4. If you were to hit back to charge for Guile, tap right, you're still holding back. So what would happen is you'd release your sonic boom and you're still immediately back to charging. Much faster than you could do on an arcade stick or a standard hitbox. And it's no secret that many pros and many players in fighting game tournaments using the DualShock 4 use both the joystick and the D-pad at the same time. So essentially this has opened a very large door into investigating some sort of standardization within the fighting game community and fighting game tournaments. If you want my two cents on the matter, I really don't think the Gaffro box should be banned considering you can do the exact same thing on a standard DualShock controller. And heck, take this guy for example, Initial T. He plays fighting games using a PS4 racing wheel. Anyways, I'm super curious to see what's going to happen because of all of this and it's really, really interesting. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. It's a lot of information to take in. There are some people who didn't even know what SOCD cleaning was when I was talking to them about it. So really, this is a lot of information and it's actually a pretty big discussion right now in fighting games. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.